God, it's been so busy. It's been so busy with all the channels lately. It's like everything just wants to be thrown at me the moment I'm done with my ear infections. Oh, and you want to hear the great news? I woke up this morning. My throat was swollen a little bit. So I'm like, oh, great. Are the allergies going to start again on my birthday here on the Razzcast episode? He's going to die. It's He's my, just going to die. I'm my mother. It's my motherfucking birthday. Like, oh my God. Yes. Happy birthday, Brian. Happy, happy Oppenheimer Day. Uh, happy shout out Bar to uh, Barbenheimer Day for Barbenheimer. all. Shout out, to, shout out to Christopher Nolan being the only person on the press tour. That's I'm right. sure he loves it. Roderick rules. So there, a guy, th this will be our random ramble since the video technically has started since I've done the intro, then we'll get into the topic. There was a guy talking to him and he said, Hey, I noticed while watching Oppenheimer that there was an actor from diary of a wimpy kid. And without anything else, Christopher Nolan goes, Roderick rules. <laughs> Roderick is in Oppenheimer. Christopher Nolan is such a fucking funny guy. He just on just he has that's the only thing he needs is for someone to just say a kid from Diary of a Wimpy Kid and he goes, Roderick rules. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's on strike now too. Uh, we're not though. We're working. Maybe, maybe we'll be actors. Maybe this is the last Warren Rascals video. The Rascals take Hollywood by storm. Yeah, what a perfect time to do it, right? Perfect time to do it. And also a perfect time to, in my opinion, digest. To type probably the most exciting, the most deep dive, thrilling, not just Razcast, but I think video we've ever done on this channel, period. Like it's it's we've gone into, we've deep dived. You know, we we our first video was about the Activision Blizzard deal, which is soon to be finally over a fucking year and a half later. Um, mm -hmm. It's and then, you know, we've done, we've done a lot of different video series, you know, videos we love like WWE 2K, right? Uh, videos we hate like WWE 2K. <laughs> um, I had a topic that I thought would change the game for this channel forever. Great food in surprising restaurants. That's the name I finally, because the first time I said the title out loud to Eric, him and I both did one of those like, yeesh, maybe we need to come. Because the way it sounded, it didn't sound appropriate. <laughs> this sounds appropriate. So you know, this is probably going to be the something. shortest. What's that? It sounds like something, all right. It does. This is probably going to be the shortest RAS cast. It's going to be probably the quickest, and it's probably going to be, as we called it, the goofiest, the goof cast. But hey, it's his birthday. It's you my nice birthday. It. So uh, I kind of just told Eric, just come up with some random shit. I only have three that I'm going to talk about. And again, I don't think this video is going to be like a deep dive. It's just going to be more of a, hey, isn't that kind of crazy that this place has great this? Um so I don't know how we want to break this up. Like I can just go through all mine and then you can go through all yours and we can kind of just comment on each other. We agree, disagree. If we've even had these things from these, this restaurant or whatnot. Um, I do have an honorable mention. It's a drink and Jade's actually the one that brought it up and I only am putting it on here. So I had, I had, I have, obviously, as we all know, I have to have a rule set. I have to have specific things to lay out what I agree or disagree with. The only thing that I really stuck with is I picked things that if you told me the restaurant, like any restaurant, and then I were to say the food, if your reaction is they're not, they're not known for that. Are they? That's kind of where my answers lie. Like is a, Oh, really? Cause one of them, is very well known for having this but i don't think people go there for this kind of food which that'll probably be the first one i talk about because that one i think is a little easier to go in but it's it's the lemonade from blaze pizza i love blaze pizza blaze pizza is great and the lemonade is something that i specifically love going to blaze pizza for their lemonade but they're also known for making lemonade like that's their whole thing so again see this is this is when yeah, like hi hi welcome like, to blaze how can i 
hi yes can i have a pizza hold the pizza please pour lemonade all on it just give me soggy lemonade dough Ugh. <laughs> lemonade mouth more like lemonade dough <laughs> no. um <laughs> Anywho, so that was kind of just one I wanted to throw. So the first one that I wanted to throw out there, which is probably the most common for me, because I love this place, but I actually don't go there for what the ads are known for. It's a place called Popeyes, not the character. And it's love not- that chicken, Popeyes. Love that chicken, 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 seafood? Question mark. Yes. Uh, seafood it's is not long dot silvers. Exactly. It this in a long hey. I ain't going to Long John Silver's again. They almost killed me the last time I went there like years ago. But I've never you know, to Long that's John a, Silver. Probably never will. I was gonna say that's probably my fault though, because Long John Silver's it's a front for weed. That's a story you should look up on the internet. Anyway, <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation. I love the popcorn shrimp from Popeyes it is so damn good and Jade loves Popeyes no it's not just because she's from Louisiana maybe it partially is uh because Raising Cane's is also from Louisiana which is something we love so it's you know just chicken from Louisiana (laughs) It's, it's it's the the mainstay there I love Popeyes shrimp so much I get it with the fries and biscuit and the lemonade I love it so good I don't know what the word was that. <laughs> what was that? Al Canal. I don't know which one was <laughs> me saying. I like it a lot. Good Al Canal. Uh, this is like one of my go-to lunches. And again, the reason why I'm bringing this up is it is on the menu. It is something you can get with chicken, all that. And there's deals with it. I ta- I, I speak with my hands. I... <laughs> but... Half the time, they don't fucking have it. I have to go to a specific Popeye's because I was like, yeah, we don't have seafood. Then why is it on your menu? If it is a mainstay on your menu, why is it there? It will sandwich chicken, blah, blah, blah. No. Give me popcorn shrimp, damn it. I'm going to fight them. And that, that's that. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Moving on up, moving on, on up. up. So this is a small one that is actually funny. I, this is a last minute edition that Jade actually um got me interested in. And it's something she's been wanting to show me for a long time. Like, it's like, hey, do you know this place has really good, uh, you probably said something inappropriate, but I kind of couldn't hear it. I don't fucking care. I didn't say anything. Dairy Queen. Yeah, Dairy, Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen has amazing ice cream. It's great. It's known for that. It is the queen that is dairy, this cow. Would, would I blow your mind if I said that their french fries are pretty slap, though? They have pretty okay. slap french fries. I went. Why is the french fry slapping me? I, I hey, because you were eating its siblings or something. You They caught you eating french fries and they were like, <laughs> that's my brother maybe she we went it was funny we went <laughs> we specifically did this right before we saw across the spider verse we went to dairy queen and i was like we need dinner let's go to dairy queen because you said you wanted me to try dairy queen french fries for the first time so we literally got ice cream and french fries for dinner and they're pretty good they're like they kind of remind me of shit Is he really stuck on that right now? Hell yeah. I think he is. And then the Amazon delivery guys here, there's so much happening right now. Anyways. But yeah. The Amazon de- delivery guy. Shout yes, out Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> um, but yeah, they kind of remind me a bit, like shape-wise, of maybe like maybe like Wendy's fries. Like they kind of have that, like they're kind of like the flat fry sort of situation. They're pretty good, but that's not that's not the big revelation. It's not the big revelation. That's a big revelation. High school. Eric knows this. We had an all night party for high school, where it was it was the day of graduation. We were at Macomb Community <laughs> College. We graduated high school. It was so great. 
And then later, that, <laughs> and then later that day at our high school, we had like an all night party where they had like inflatables and you can like win stuff. And it was like edibles. Party. Yep. We were all stoned on edibles the entire time. Montez and I, I don't know if you ended up doing it, but Montez and I did the race thing where we were both on the bungee cord. <laughs> that was fucking so much fun. Um, but after the fact, there's a group of us that were like, we're going to go to IHOP. So we went to IHOP and granted we were, it was six o'clock in the morning. We were up for almost an entire day at this point and we were starving. So maybe that's part of where all this was coming from. But one of them, maybe was it a Keeb? Shout out to you. Akeeb. I think it might've been a Keeb. I don't know if it was a Keeb or someone else in the group. They got like, one of those sampler platters of like appetizers and there was mozzarella sticks and I do not like mozzarella sticks. I'm one of those weird people where it's like, it's too much cheese. It's bread. Yeah. I, it, it's, it's, I don't know. It's just too much. And I'm telling you, dude, I bit into one of those and it was one of the greatest things I've had. <laughs> I was like, yo, like, like, pa like it's one of those paws. We're in an IHOP mozzarella sticks are slap right now what the fuck is going on <laughs> he said this point to be uh biting in to some cheesy goodness and some cheesy goodness and again this was even pre ihob this was before that shit when they were trying to get people to go to ihop for the burgers okay for the burgers this was pre all that this is 2013 Shows our age. This was even, this was after both Battlefield games came out that we did anniversary streams for. <laughs> Check those out. Check those out while you're at it. Um, like this video while you're at it. <laughs> no, <laughs> we can't do that yet. But no, it, it, they were really damn good. And I don't know if I had them since, but that was, I think that was the genesis of the whole conversation, really. I was just sitting going, there's probably a lot of stuff out there. And like, there, like, for example, like, you know, like I know 7-Eleven has hot food and I know a lot of people are talking about, oh, well, there's stuff there that people, you know, is so good. And it's just really difficult to think of like so many different places. Because again, like when you get into conversations about like, I don't know, like the normal chain restaurants of like a Chili's or an Applebee's or something, that's stuff that you kind of, you know, can take, you know, give and take. We, when Jade was helping me, she was bringing up like Coney Island. And I was like, but Coney Island's kind of like, they're known for like breakfast and then like fast food stuff. So I thought that was kind of like, I don't know, like that, that wasn't too, but again, you say IHOP, you think pancakes, you think breakfast food. So the mozzarella sticks comes out and you go, huh? And then like with Popeyes, I thought, again, the, you know, you said the song. We ain't going to sing it again so we don't get copyrighted. <laughs> and then, and then uh, DQ with their fries, which again, I knew DQ always had, like a lot of them had the hot food. That sort of became a thing. Um, and All right. Yeah, the three of them are in a uh, contender. The popcorn shrimp, the, the fries, and the mozzarella sticks. Who's who Who's... Who's getting on top? Who's getting out first? Like, who's going to win? Yeah. Probably the shrimp, because the shrimp is something that I get consistently. But if we're talking about the rules of, like, the extreme, I think the mozzarella sticks would win because I don't know what it is with DQ. Oh, I don't think it. that's so weird because, like, when I think of ice cream, I think of, like, like I joking aside, I, I brought up Wendy's. And I think of, like, Frosties and fries and stuff. I think that kind of stuff works. Breakfast food, mozzarella sticks. <laughs> so that, like, there's no, there's no cross paths. My favorite is the popcorn shrimp. I think the most extreme case of it where I'm, like, this is the hill I'll die on if, like, I think it's the most extreme case of it. I'd probably say the mozzarella sticks because I think they're so – there's such a weird disconnect. And I think a lot of that happens to be with, like, places like that, like Denny's and stuff doing the diner food too. But it's, like, IHOP is literally the name to International House of Pancakes. It's not, you know, IHOMS. IHOMS. 
international mozzarella sticks. <laughs> so, but that's mine. And I think you kind of knew, I don't know if I told you all of them, but I feel like I was very like, all of them. Oh, okay. So it's like, I kind of gave you what I had. So I'm very interested in yours because this was a topic I threw at you and it better be yeah. good. Just guess what? It's my birthday. <laughs> yeah. What if I told him I had nothing? That would be the greatest birthday. <laughs> you gave me more than my dad did. Yikes. <laughs> uh, um, I, I, do, I, I thought about this as a quick honorable mention because it's not on their menu anymore, but it was a hot commodity when it was a thing. Uh, we love Taco Bell, you know, only really drive through fast food to Mexican style, you know, tacos, quesadillas, Crunchwrap Supremes, you know. You know what I think? Chicken tenders. Okay. Well, I, I what got were you thinking? started it. I was thinking you were going nacho fries route. And so nacho fries are up there as well. Okay. But did you have their chicken tender like taco? I did. I didn't even know this was a fucking thing. That's crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Really fucking good. But they only brought it out. I, I, quote me if I'm wrong. One time. It might have been twice. But one time. Because there was a whole marketing campaign about it being like, is it a sandwich or is it a taco? And it's like, oh. And it was like $3.50. It was just like one chicken strip with like some specialty sauce on like some flour tortilla, kind of like a bao tortilla in a sense, but oh. not really. And it was good. Like they cooked it well. It was pretty good. <laughs> but it's it, it, it not all the time. So I can't count it. So it has to be an honorable mention because that's a good honorable mention, though. And the nacho fries, too. That's a good. Nacho you, start, you, you set it up, and I was like, that's why I did the whole. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Even more. I blew your mind even more. That That's true. Shout out to Josh Jamal. That first commercial with Nacho Fries, one of the greatest commercials ever. I fucking love it. What do you mean? Uh, hey. What do you mean? All right, brief pause intermission for a second. I know I'm going on about this uh, taco so much, this chicken tender taco. Oh, it's an honorable mention because it's not here. Taco Bell setting jokes on me. It's back for a limited time, people. So go get it. Number one, baby. Number one. Okay, kind of, kind of a bunch of stuff at once, but literally, uh, just a main couple selections I'll pick from this place. Uh, Wawa. Brian doesn't know what it is. He doesn't. Even, what is a Wawa? Uh, it is a gas station, but it started as a convenience store first, and then you know what? They started selling food, and you're like, okay. You know, gas station style food. No, they made sandwiches and hoagies. And then it started getting weird. Here we go. We got mashed potatoes, soup, mac and cheese. Okay, what could be weirder than that? How about we start making burgers? <laughs> See, and chicken sandwiches. You and I had this conversation because you brought up Wawa. You were eating it. You went, you were going to get it. And then we had a conversation about it. And I said, the closest thing that I know is we're going to be getting uh, my East Coast friends that from Xbox Day, shout out to all of you. We're getting a Sheets for the first time. And I know Sheets is something that is kind of close to that, where it's one of those very high-end convenience. You go get your gas there, but you have the food selections there. So that was the closest I heard. Because when you said that, I said, you just spoke another language. I don't know what the yeah. hell you just said. It's. Yeah. So. Um, but no. Uh, hot news. Apparently, this is a thing, too. Apparently, they're going to make pizza. This is a, this is kind of a gas station, Brian. Like All roads pizza. lead to pizza. <laughs> Apparently, speaking of pizza, flippity floppity. Uh. We have the hut, the pizza of huts, you know. What would you like? A meat lovers, uh, just a traditional pepperoni, uh, some garlic in there. Uh, how about I throw you out a chicken Alfredo pasta? Would you like some chicken Alfredo from Pizza Hut, Brian? Because you know what? It actually pretty slaps. It's uh, They cook it pan style. You know? Like they're a big pizza. fan of this. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I've had it like twice. I don't even know if it's on their menu anymore. I now no reason. Yeah, but like, would you really want to go to Pizza Hut for some pasta? I mean, that's not here. Here we go. Here comes. Oh, Brian's coming in with rules. I mean, that's not so weird because when I think of pizza, I think like it's like pizza and breadsticks, yeah. and salad and wings and pasta. So I mean, I mean you're thinking the whole Italian style, but this is like the Pizza Hut. Like Papa John's doesn't sell pasta. Hungry Howie's, I don't think they sell pasta. No, I think it stops like salad. Uh, it's usually like yes. salad, breadsticks, wings. Um, the wings is like the furthest they go. They like, oh, wings. I was gonna say in <laughs> terms of like chain restaurants, like I know Buddy's has pasta. I know, but like in terms of that oh, sort of stuff, restaurant. Restaurant, yeah. and the, technically Pizza Hut kind of started as a restaurant. But it was only pizza, though, really. Well, it's not Pasta Hut, so. It's not Pasta Hut. Jabba the Hut. Uh, finally. Okay, Brian. This is just going to be a straight. There's a, a few restaurants down here that have been doing this. All right. I, I, I see, like, some seafood, some shrimp and stuff like that. How, how are you about sushi, you know? Um... Yeah, Brian likes it. Brian likes it. No, no, uh, that wasn't a no. Did, did you not get the joke? The joke was you asked me, and I was just ignoring it and gonna have you keep talking because I don't like sushi. <laughs> wow, I can't make fun of him because it's his birthday. Yeah, but Brian, how do you like burritos? Burritos are tight. You know, they're cool. Tight. You know what? You know what else is pretty tight? What sushi if we just burrito? put all the ingredients to a sushi burrito? Yeah, a sushi burrito. You know, some places call it. You know, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's catching up a little bit, but like, you know, the first time I heard of it, and they said, "Okay, we're just gonna put it in a flour tortilla and put all the sushi ingredients and stuff it inside there." Is there a and name for that? Work. Because Tex Mex is a thing. Asian Mex, Jap Mex. Mexican, <laughs> Japanese. Uh, if we're talking about battle royale, for me, okay, uh, Wawa is the winner because I order Wawa all the time. <laughs> um, but if we're talking about like the weirdest, it's probably still Wawa because what type of gas station like makes pizzas like quality pizzas in there <laughs> and burgers well, and chicken. So Again, I actually this is actually a pretty cool thing to like segue into a discussion because here in Michigan we have a place called Buscemi's, which I don't know if you ever had, but Buscemi's is like kind of like party stores, but they have pizzas. They make pizza and it's so good. Like <clears throat> basically what it is is you'll like it's one of those you walk into a gas station and they have hot plates. And they make food and they leave it. And like, you can be like, hey, I want this to go or this to go. Or you can buy it like fresh. And there's another new place called Soroki's, which is literally like my uh, addiction. It's like pizza and chicken. And they know me so well, because every time I walk in there to get the same order, they're always like, hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking uh, Toby Maguire in Spider-Man 2. Raindrops keep falling. <laughs> So like he can't wait till Friday and get his birthday pizza, and they're gonna be like, "We don't do birthday pizzas." <laughs> and I'm like, "But just for you, just, we'll charge extra." Just for you, buddy. Just for you. <laughs> but like that—that's a good point too. I feel like fast or places like that are starting to become this huge thing because it's a whole convenience. But it is I, literally. It, I I was about to say this. But I, I want to be aware, this is actually Soroki's, like, slogan. Their slogan is literally where quality meets convenience. That's really what it is, you know? You go there, you get stuff real quick. But it's not like, like, 7-Eleven has hot food, but it's it's the most, like, they get cold stuff, they put it in a microwave, and they warm it up. Microwave it. Wawa and, like, Soroki's and Buscemi's, and from, you know, what I've heard of Sheets, it's, like, fresh food that's being made you know yeah now i'm ready to blow your mind really brian 
Uh-oh. Have you ever heard of Bucky's? Um, I thought he's dead. Oh no, he's alive. Spoiler. Yeah. Spoiler, yeah. Um no, uh there's this chain of gas stations. Again, we're going to the theme of oh, gas, gas stations. stations. <laughs> But really, you don't go there for the gas because this place is like if you put a Target inside of a gas station, it's got everything. It's insane. Brian, you could get brisket there, like fresh cut brisket at this Bucky's and you can get gas while you're at it. You could get quail eggs, Brian. You want some quail eggs? Not really, no. Well, it's too dang bad because they're there and ready for you. I have never been to a Bucky's still. Uh, someone living in the Florida area because the closest one to me is still probably about like an hour, an hour and a half away from me. And I wouldn't want to make a trip out there unless someone took me out there personally. Uh, I'm not going to a gas station by myself that's an hour and a half away. Because <laughs> that just sounds depressing and I'm already depressed enough. But... um. Like people line up for this shit. Uh, apparently, there was a Bucky's that opened up in like a North Carolina area, and the street street was filled with cars. My goodness, people just want to go to Bucky's, Brian. You don't understand people's craze for the stupid fucking. I think it's a gopher. Like, look it up. They sell merchandise of the gopher and like different things, like summer flares and Halloween flares and Christmas flare and spirit jerseys and all this stuff over a gopher with a hat it's his birthday folks happy 2011th birthday brian 2011 yeah it could be worse could it it could be a 9 11th birthday okay everybody so clearly Fast food gas stations, uh, the gas station food rather is half of what makes ma- makes us smile. So you should go to weird fast food gas or gas station for food. Fa- yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go to food gas stations. Go to food gas stations. The ones that when you get the pump, you just shove it in your fucking mouth and it shoots food in there. And everyone oh. puts their dirty ass mouth on it and it's all the same. Oh. That's how COVID started. Yeah. Oh gosh. What is some good food that y'all love in places that are very weird? I feel like there has there has to be something that is so like, yeah, like if you go to Chili's, they have a, I don't know, like something so weird that's in their menu that nobody buys. But if you get it, it's the greatest meal you'll ever have in your life. Or like I you go know. to like an Olive Garden and they have like uh, a cheeseburger, a French baguette. <laughs> it's an Italian restaurant. But it's just French. They're like, they're like, oh, it's French. <laughs> I just thought I was shit. What was I just talking about? I had uh, some chilies. Oh, chilies. Oh my god. What did I just oh, really? oh what's crazy is Jade was getting her tires done today and she went to IKEA and she got the Swedish meatballs and she said they were really yeah. good. So that would fit. IKEA I... Swedish meatballs, yeah. But they're from Sweden, Brian. Well, when you go to IKEA, you're technic. You know how when you go to a U.S. embassy, oh, people just like go a- to IKEA and get the Swedish meatballs, Brian. They don't buy it from here. It's like when you go to a, a military base in any country. If you're born there, you're technically a U.S. citizen. It's the same thing. The moment you step into an uh, IKEA, you could literally be running from the cops. The moment you get into an IKEA parking lot, they all the Swedish people come out and go, "No, you cross country lines." Yeah, that's how that- or, because America would allow that. Yep. 
the sweet Swedish people, they're in, they're invading our country. They're secretly, it's like incels. They're like planting Ikeas. They think it's fun. Oh, it's a, and then they're like, no, these are secretly Swedish embassies in your country. We got you, America. Fuck you. The Swedish, they're the ones we should be looking out for, apparently. Yeah. Out of everyone. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. The Warren Rascals think Swedish people are scary terrorists. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. It's my birthday, and I'm getting old and senile. And so, hey, when it's Eric's birthday, maybe it'll be a lot more composed and not as chaotic or weird. Who knows? Who knows? Well, happy, oh. happy Barbenheimer. Happy Barbenheimer. Go support your cinemas, damn it. Yeah, since, you know, next couple of years are probably going to be rough. It's okay. Kevin Feige just called me. He's he's ready for us to take over some Marvel stuff. So, cool. Can't wait to see you as a, a Captain Marvel. Men are the worst. Nah, you got the part. Toodaloo!